How was the brows popping was cracking it's D about to react to this video by Hip Hop Daily. It's titled The Story of Freak Mill. <laughs> Meek Mill. People have been on this man's head um since this whole Diddy situation. Actually before that, I feel like he's been doing goofy stuff for a while now. And people have just, you know, uh, made a joke out of him, which is unfortunate because I feel like he was a really great rapper, you know, and he kind of ruined his legacy just by his goofy online antics. But anyway, let's hear what they have to say. Let's watch. Meek Mill has been clown for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but nobody expected what happened to him after Diddy got exposed. Besides catching the nickname Freak Mill, he's killing his own career, and rumors say he might end up getting charged too. And today we're breaking the whole thing down. Ooh. Before Diddy got hit with his Fed case, he was already getting sued by a lot of people. A dude named Lil Rod hit Diddy with a lawsuit and said he saw all kinds of crazy things while he was working for Diddy. Lil Rod's lawsuit brought up a lot of wild situations Diddy was in, but one of the craziest things was Lil Rod talking about Diddy allegedly hooking up Meek Mill and Usher. Meek Mill and Usher's names were in the paperwork because they were redacted, but everyone was able to figure out who Lil Rod was talking about from the jump. In the paperwork, Lil Rod said that Diddy was hooking up with a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj and an R&B singer who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas That's residency. So Look, just Mr. That. Combs informed Mr. Jones Where's that he had photo? engaged in sexual intercourse with a rapper. Five, that's redacted. Look, Wait, huh? Five. The following are screenshots of the video of Stevie J penetrating a Caucasian male that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. I can't tell what's happening in this photo. It looks wild, but this doesn't even look like Stevie J. Maybe. The rapper, five, that's redacted. Look, five, he's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. R&B singer, six, redacted. Look. He performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Meek Mill is the only Philly rapper who has a history with Nicki Minaj. So fans immediately knew that he was the one who allegedly hooked up with Diddy. DJ Academics read the paperwork on his live stream. And that's when Meek Mill started ranting about the situation on Twitter. Meek Mill clapped back at Academics and said that he can't wait to see him in person. Meek also tweeted that he would I'm never do coke or freaky ass Molly. And that if someone approached him about gay activity, then the whole place would get flipped. People were already clowning me for the paperwork, but then he made the situation even worse for himself when he started making weird tweets about how much he likes hooking up with women. Meek blamed all the gay room himself when he started making. I had a girl run me. I'll fuck her twice a day. Ask him on your favorites. If you don't control me, bitch, like a high warm love to the gay people. Ew. Weird tweets about how much he likes hooking up with women. Meek blamed all the gay rumors it's on the media for trying to tear down black artists. Meek said that anytime a rapper was making hundreds of millions from their music, they either called him gay or a snitch. He also blamed the blog sites for paying the boost to post for the Lil Rod story because they wanted to discredit Meek for being a strong leader. Meek kept sending shots at academics too and called him an alcoholic with no life who talks to kids on the computer. This wasn't the first time that academics and Meek had problems though. Back in 2017, Meek got pressed with Academics because Academics didn't post about his new album. Academics was a host on the Everyday Struggle podcast back then, and he said that Meek's crew was sending him threats about how he was posting about them. Six months ago, Meek had sent me a DM, him and the rest of the chasers. They gave me a little digital jump in a light one. They said, listen, either post it this way or don't post it, post it at all, right? Next thing I'm seeing, they, they, they were like threatening me when I see him, I'm gonna give him a wedgie, I'm gonna slap him over. I'm like, oh shit. I think I'm posting it wrong, so I stopped posting. Then in 2020, Meek Mill said that academics is canceled because he makes money off of beef that gets people killed and never gives back to the culture. Academics clown Meek for talking tough on Twitter, so Meek responded and said he was putting a green light on academics. Academics clapped back and said that he's not going to let Meek bully him and send death threats, so he sent the green light message to the cops. I'm just trying to tell you that, brother. I'm just not into being bullied. So if you got, like, some tough nigga shit that you have to do, um... Keep it that way. Just stop snitching on yourself. Stop telling the world you're green lighting people and just do what you have to do. Because right now, like, when you say green lighting, I send that to the police. I'm going to be honest with you. The beef cooled off after 21 Savage stepped in and helped him squash it. But Meek went right back to sending death threats after academics started talking about the little Rod paperwork. Meek also claimed that the whole thing was a conspiracy theory in the rap game to try and hold him down. 
Academics in another Why shot said nobody in the industry that. cares about Meek Mill's career because he already fell off. And after Meek's new EP came out, Academics piled off for barely running up 100 album streams on Spotify. Meek was getting so heated about Academics, he started talking about pulling up to Academics' crib and said he would die to shut Academics down. Oh. Academics sent more shots back about Meek being a slave to billionaires like Michael Rubin and Robert Kraft. Oh. Then Meek cooled off and said that the governor of Philly called him about the situation. Meek has done a lot of work for prison reform after he got caught up in the case back in the day. People respect what Meek's been doing with that. But Meek still gets clowned for talking tough on Twitter and working with the government at the same time. After the little Rob paperwork came out, old videos of Meek started going viral. Meek is known for kicking it with a billionaire named Michael Rubin. And one time, Rubin reported Meek doing bunny hops on his one tennis time. court. Everyone thought Meek bouncing around like that for a billionaire was weird. Meek tried to say that it was a game he started in prison because it was too hostile for money. But nobody was really buying it. Michael Rubin is famous for hosting a white party every year with a bunch of rappers and other celebrities and business people. And in 2023, people started clowning Lil Baby and calling him gay after a photo from the white party started going viral where Baby was hugging Michael Rubin and another dude. Diddy wasn't even wrapped up in his case yet, but 50 Cent was already trolling him over the rumors about Diddy hooking up with dudes. 50 posted the photo of Lil Baby at the white party and said, see, this is why I don't go to no party puffy in that mat. The fuck is going on here? After the video of Meek doing bunny hops for Michael Rubin went viral, Rubin did an interview and said that Meek doesn't have a gay bone in his body and that the bunny hops are Meek's idea. Meek, yeah, I know that guy really, really well, okay? Everyone going around trying to say, and by the way, if he was gay, who cares? There's not a gay bone in his body. You guys know him. Like, I know him. I've been around him more than anybody. Talk about the bunny hops. Meek says to me at the beginning of the game, he says, what do you want to bet? I'm like, uh, what do you want to bet? Like, I'm not generally, a mo- like, I don't want to ever take money from my friends or, like, bet money. But if they want to, he's like, let's do push-ups. I'm like, great. 50 push-ups? Great. He's like, actually, let's do bunny hops. A lot of people were calling me gay. And a comedian named Andrew Schultz even clowned Meek over the situation during the show in Philly. Meek said it was the first time he actually laughed at someone making gay jokes about him. But added that if Schultz said that to his face, he might swing on him. It also doesn't help that Meek has a history of saying weird stuff on social media and getting clowned for it. Like in 2019, Meek randomly tweeted, this D good as hell. What? Meek claims he was watching the NBA game and commenting on the 76ers defense. But fans obviously took it another way and the tweet resurfaced once the Diddy allegations came out. Meek also got clowned (laughs) after he posted a selfie on the beach with some sand on his face. Right. People in the comments were saying things like, this was after a Diddy party. <laughs> Even former NFL player Antonio Brown jumped in and commented, whose children on his face? Ew, that also man. wasn't the only time AB trolled Meek on social media. Before that, Antonio Brown shared a photo from the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang that was photoshopped to say Diddy Diddy Bang Bang with a photo of Diddy and Meek Mill in a dress. Meek clapped back by calling A.B. slow and accused him of DMing the young girl Meek was related to. The paperwork was one thing, but then the situation got even worse for Meek after some alleged audio came out of him and Diddy hooking up. According to reports, (laughs) somebody working security... That shit sound fake. ...security for Diddy recorded Diddy having sex with Meek and leaked it on social media. Diddy and Meek have been tight for years, and the audio and paperwork isn't the first time rumors have been going around about them hooking up. Back in the day, they were spotted wearing matching outfits yeah, to a party, and Diddy even posted a video where he called Meek Mill it's Daddy too much while Meek was chilling in the pool. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Meek said all the rumors about him being gay were confusing his son, too. And after more people started accusing Diddy of weird cases, Meek said he wasn't believing any of it because people were trying to get him wrapped up in the situation. Nobody knows if the audio of Diddy hooking up with Meek is real, but a singer from Philly named Jaguar Wright claims that Nicki Minaj is actually the one who recorded it at a party in Calabasas. That, that Nicki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. <laughs> in the she Calabasas. She claims that Nicki's been wanting to expose Meek for a long time, Not the but Calabasas. didn't drop the recording because she didn't want to expose Diddy too. But after everything else came out about Diddy, Nicki decided to leak the recording. She's been waiting to drop the shit with Meek. She just wasn't going to tell nobody it was Diddy. But now that Diddy out there, why not? After the recording came out, another video started going viral where Nicki asked Soldier Boy if he thought there were a lot of undercover brothers in the industry. Soldier just laughed it off and said he didn't know anything about it. But then Nikki said, okay, because I do. Do you think it's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? <laughs> uh, oh, no, queen. You don't know nothing about undercovers. I don't know. You don't know about that. 
Okay. Because uh, I do. Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj dated for a couple of years, but then they broke up and started dissing each other. Meek dropped the track 1942 flows and raps. Bloggers in a frenzy, truck to the Bentley. Ain't doing no interviews, I'm busy. Nigga, we litty. So when you see me out, the don't ask me about no Nicki. Nicki. Then on the track me. Barbie Dreams, Nicki sent a shot at Meek and raps. Meek still be in my DMs. I be having to duck em. I used to pray for times like this, face ass when I fuck with. The beef didn't get too serious at first, but that all changed after Nicki started dating a dude named Kenneth. Someone on Twitter asked Meek about the situation, and he said that he don't feel nothing, but claimed that Nicki blocked him. Then in 2020, Meek when was shot. Then that he don't. I went to check him out on her page and saw I was blocked. Feel nothing, but claim that Nikki blocked him. Then in 2020, Meek was shopping in LA when Nikki and Kenneth came into the same store. According to reports, Kenneth started getting aggressive with Meek out of nowhere, and that's when everyone started screaming at each other. Security stepped in before anyone could throw hands, but then Meek and Nikki started sending shots on Twitter. Nikki said Meek got embarrassed and shitted himself when Kenneth. Talking about he went to my page seeing that he was blocked. My nigga, move on. I know your bitch embarrassed. <laughs> Shit yourself in that store when you got pressed up. Pressed him in the shop. And then Nikki made some wild claims that. your own sister and taped it. Spit on her and taped it. Kick me in front of your mother and send her to the hospital. Suck and drag dick. Made you feel tough again. Move on. Meek beat his own sister and reported it. And even kicked Nikki in front of his mom. Meek oh, clapped back and said that Nikki was just trying to kill his career by saying he was a woman beater. Then he brought up how Nikki's little brother got convicted of rape and she paid for his lawyer. The situation cooled down after that, but rumors say that Nikki's been wanting to take Meek down for a long time. And that's why she allegedly leaked the alleged recording of Diddy and Meek hooking up. It's not clear if Nikki's involved with the situation or not, but Meek hasn't stopped talking about the rumors and thinks the industry is trying to shut him down. Meek said that he's going to hire an investigative team and give him 100k cash to find any evidence that he's actually involved with the Diddy case. Meek thinks someone is powering the bad campaigns and trying to kill his career. Then 50 Cent clown Meek on IG yeah. and posted a fake clip of Diddy and Meek Mill in a Rick James music video. Meek used to be tight with another Philly rapper named Oshino. They linked up on tracks like Probably and Get Into The Money, but then Oshino and Meek fell out because Meek allegedly stopped rocking with him after he got famous. Meek talks about coming up in the streets all the time. But Oshino said that Meek's soft, and that's why he's always trying to defend himself on Twitter. Mm. Oshino told Flat TV that he doesn't think Meek is actually gay, but he's insecure, and that's why he's getting the Twitter beef with everyone who clowns him. I would bet a million dollars that Meek's not gay. I can't see him being gay. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't think so. That's, that's just like, they just, you know, they just trolling me. But with Meek yeah. problems, he feeds into everything. Fabio Foreign also hopped on Twitter and defended Meek after the paperwork came out and people were calling him gay. Fabio Foreign had rumors about him being gay going around back in 2022 it's after his girlfriend hopped on right? social media yeah. to expose him. A lot of people were calling Fabio when it went down, but his girl said that she made it all up because she was mad at him. Allegedly hooking up with Diddy isn't the worst part of the situation for Meek, though. Diddy's been accused of all kinds of wild cases, and if Meek was involved with any of it, then he'll be going down, too. Diddy allegedly had secret cameras all over his crib to record everything going down. And 50 Cent said, God damn it, people don't think you are gay at Meek Mill News. They think you want them tapes. There's no evidence that Meek was abusing people with Diddy, but if he did anything like that, there's a good chance the cops have videos of it now. A lot of people thought Nicki might have been just trying to kill Meek's career when she said that he kicked her. But according to rumors, Nikki was planning on making a documentary about the situation, and Meek Mill sent a cease and desist to get a bunch of footage removed. A bodyguard named Big Homie CC had an interview with Cam Capone News and said Diddy definitely has videos of Meek Mill somewhere. So you think Diddy has footage on Meek? For sure. He got cameras through his whole crib. Nobody knows how much Meek was actually involved with the Diddy situation, but it looks like Meek might actually leave the country now. After the paperwork came out, Meek hopped on Twitter and said that he wants to get citizenship in Ghana because America wants to tear black men down. The tweet made people think Diddy has dirt on Meek, though. And some people think trying Meek to is trying to get out of America before the cops can get to him. There's no evidence that Meek did anything wrong, though. And he might just be pressed about all the rumors going around. Meek Mill might not have done anything wrong like Diddy, but he pretty much killed his career because he wouldn't stay off of Twitter. Everyone would have probably moved on from the news if Meek didn't keep fighting people about it on social media yeah, and trying to defend wow. himself so hard. But now he's getting clowned every day and people are making jokes about Diddy keeping him in a cage and calling him Freak Mill. Meek might be able to bounce back if he gets in the booth and drops I some still hit. can't believe that that nigga from Black Ink resorted to that. I saw some of his videos too on Twitter. I was like, oh, shook it. It's. 
But right now, it seems like he's too busy arguing with trolls on Twitter. Yeah, this is embarrassing. It's just too much that's come out online about him. <laughs> From him at that. Not even rumors, just things he said. I remember that whole situation where he was asking about lube and then he was saying he wanted some vibrating panties, like, and then tweeting that, oh, this D is fire, or whatever he said, like, you doing a lot. So it's just all of it combined looks away. Uh, maybe he's not gay, you know, but if he is, it is like, who cares? But it's just, <laughs> it's just odd seeing everything that he posts and the things that he says online. It's like, what is happening here? I don't know. But uh, maybe he'll get it together. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next time. Bye.